Asked him about when I jumped out on him with that bat and ran his ass down Canal Street when him and Blue stole from me the first time. See, I don't know about that. I made Blue give me 30K. Nigga been stealing, bro. I thought that shit was over with, bro. Them niggas con all this, bro. That was 2016 when that happened. Brother, bro, Kane and Avery, they partners in crime. TQ and Young Blue, don't it rhyme? TQ and Young Blue, they gonna make me post them texts. Expose they bitch. That's what they gonna make me do. They say they don't owe me. Blue talking about they don't owe me number two point five million. You can't even go viral and tell them pay me that. Okay, man. So that is Leo Boozy, man, exposing and talking about when he ran down on Young Blue, right, for stealing from him. And he said that Young Blue was actually in collaboration with his brother, and they were slay stealing his money, right? So he ran down on Young Blue, and he made Young Blue to pay him and hand over over thirty thousand dollars to him, right? After he stole from him, and he said that Young Blue be stealing from him back in the day so if you all don't know what's going on with uh with Leo Bozzi and uh and Young Blue man they had a long beef because of the you know because of the music business right uh Leo Bozzi was trying to get his money uh from Young Blue you know trying to get his money get his payment from the record label that is handling Young Blue right now but it happens that the record label didn't want to pay uh, Leo Boozy, right? So Leo Boozy was really not happy about it. And uh, Young Blue ended up kicking out T Rail, who is also Boozy's artist, right? Kicking T Rail out of his store. And things was really going crazy. So Leo Boozy was trying to recoup his money, but to no avail, you feel me? And things been going crazy because he took him to court and stuff like that. So he's making it known that back in the days he ran down on Young Blue after Young Blue stole from him and he made Young Blue to hand over $30,000 and stuff like that. You get what I'm saying? So he was really crazy at this point because when you think about it, you realize that Leo was just saying that Young Blue been stealing and Young Blue been stealing from him with his brother. So he was Leo Buzzi's brother who is always encouraging Young Blue, let's go steal from my brother. Cause I usually say this in everything I do, man. I say this, man, like whatever you do is gonna come back, right? Those are keep are gone, die by gone. So if you guys was busy stealing from Leo Buzzi, man, someone somehow is gonna steal from you. Cause you are an artist, Someday you're going to have all these artists co-signed under you and you're going to be in this business and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, because you stole from someone who brought you to the limelight, someone is going to steal from you. So Young Blue kicked out T-Rail because Leo Bozzi posted T-Rail on his Instagram page. What's my reaction about that? Young Blue was going on tour, man, and he's not in good terms with, with Leo Bozzi. And Leo Bozzi posted T Rail on his Instagram page. It's not T Rail's problem, right? T Rail is not, it's not the problem. The problem is Leo Bozzi. So Leo Bozzi knowing too well that he's not cool with Young Blue, man. He shouldn't have posted T Rail on his Instagram page, right? Uh, right now, the issue is being escalated and things is going crazy. Feel me? So, Young Blue Man, Leo Buzzi said that you've been stealing from him and he said that he ran down on you. You gotta give us the update how it happened, man. Someone get Young Blue on their on their podcast and let Young Blue talk about this situation because I really want to know. You get what I'm saying? Right now, Leo Buzzi exposing Young Blue is making him look bad, right? Because so many people will not want to do business with Young Blue if they found out that Young Blue been stealing. That's it, man. That's why I told you all, man, that good name is, is, is still better than gold or silver. Because some of these ninjas right now in the music industry, they want to get the money. Some of these rappers, they want to get the money. They want to get famous. They want to do anything to do everything to get the money and get famous, right? They don't care. If they stand their name they don't care if they do some crazy ass stuff out here just to get to the position they are right now forgetting that they can really be in that position forever so 
Which of these rappers do you know, man, that had all these endorsements, like these white artists, like these country musicians and stuff like that? Listen up, man. Good name is better than good and silver, right? Which artist, which rapper, apart from these rappers going on podcasts, apart from these rappers, you know, going on podcasts, getting like 30K, 20K, and stuff like that, talking crazy, exposing themselves on Vlad TV, and all that crazy stuff, man. Which of these rappers do you all know they had an endorsement? They don't, man. They are not getting the bigger bag. You get what I'm saying? They are not getting the bigger bag because none of these reputable companies really want to do business with them because they don't have good names. You feel me? So I feel like Leo Bozzi exposing, uh, exposing Young Blue, man, really makes Young Blue to look bad out here on the media you get what i'm saying and the media is their currency so it's really crazy but you all let me know what you all think under the comment section make sure you smash the like button and subscribe turn on the notification bell so you all get notified whenever you whenever i drop a new video man and you can support the channel send super thanks or join the channel membership man i appreciate you all man catch you guys later